Good afternoon. Earlier today, the Supreme Court upheld the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act. The time has come. Execute Order 66. Today's decision was a victory for people all over this country whose lives will be more secure because of this law and the Supreme Court's decision to uphold it. And because this law has a direct impact on so many Americans, I want to take this opportunity to talk about exactly what it means for you. First, if you're one of the more than 250 million Americans who already have health insurance, you will keep your health insurance. This law will only make it more secure and more affordable. I said this once or twice, but it bears repeating. You can keep your plan if you are satisfied with it. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. If you like your plan and you like your doctor, you won't have to do a thing. You keep we your plan. We will keep this promise to the American people. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan, period. You'll be able to keep your health care plan. Now, the other news that people have focused on lately has to do with notices that some Americans have gotten from their insurance companies suggesting that because of the Affordable Care Act, they may be losing the plan that they bought. Now, while virtually every insurer is offering new, better plans and competing for these folks' business, I realize that can be scary for people if they just get some notice like that. Now, if you have or had one of these plans before the Affordable Care Act came into law, and you really liked that plan, what we said was you could keep it if it hasn't changed since the law is passed. If it hasn't changed since the law is passed. If you've got health insurance, you can keep it. If you like your health care plan, you will keep it. Your plan. If you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. Nobody is talking about taking that away from you. If you have insurance that you like, then you will be able to keep that insurance. If you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it, no matter what you've heard. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. I said this once or twice, but it bears repeating. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep your plan, period. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep it. If you are among the hundreds of millions of Americans who already have health insurance through your job, or Medicare, or Medicaid, or the VA, nothing in this plan will require you or your employer to change the coverage of the doctor you have. Let me, let me repeat this. Nothing in our plan requires you to change what you have. It's not true. And one more misunderstanding I want to clear up. Under our plan, if you like your plan and you like your doctor, you won't have to do a thing. You keep your plan. Our approach would preserve the right of Americans who have insurance to keep their doctor and their plan. If you want to keep the health insurance you got, you can keep it. If you like the insurance plan you have now, you can keep it. And if you like your insurance plan, you will keep it. So if you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your plan, keep your plan. If you like your current insurance, you will keep your current insurance. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you're happy with what you got, nobody's changing it. I said this once or twice, but it bears repeating.